And our first fight of the evening is Mexico's Jose Miguel Borrego. One of the top prospects. Many consider him a future star in this game. Taking on Lancaster, California's own Kevin Watts. Watts is older. He's got the slight reach advantage. Folks, we want you to help us score the fights with the Throwdown Scoring app. It's the only boxing app where you can score fights live, predict the fights, get the latest news and analysis. Download the Throwdown Scoring app at the Apple Store or Google Play Store. Both fighters are in the ring. We get the official introductions from Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the University of Antelope Valley's premier event center from Lancaster, California. Live on FS1, this is Premier Boxing Champions. The action begins with eight rounds in the junior welterweight division. The three judges ringside arm, Rudy Barragan, Max DeLuca, and Ralph McKnight. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds, Jack Reese. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black with the silver trim. His professional record, 11 wins, four of those coming by way of knockout against one loss. Fighting out of Lancaster, California. Here is Kevin Playboy Watts. And across the ring, his adversary fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trim with the Mexican flag. As a professional, he is undefeated. 12 wins, 11 of those coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Aguascalientes, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, damos y caballeros, aquí está Jose Miguel Borrego. Let him work in here. Escúchame todo. Listen and obey my commands at all time. Protect yourself at all time. Pelea duro, pelea limpio, fight hard, fight clean, touch him up. Jack Reese, third man in the ring. That's a look at Kevin Watts. Last time we saw him here on the PBC, well, he lost to Eddie Ramirez. And Jose Miguel Borrego, five-time Mexican national amateur champion. He's been labeled as a future star in boxing. Unbeat on a 10 knockout streak. This is round one and is scheduled for eight. It is Watson, the black trunks, the silver trim. Borrego and the black trunks, the white trim. Double man. by Watts. That fight by Watson Ramirez back in September of last year. And it was Ramirez who ended up stopping Watts in the seventh round with body shots. Keep in mind, that was also the fight where Watts dropped Ramirez in the second round, but he said he hurt his right hand in that fight and basically fought with his left hand the rest of the way. Yeah, he just said that was really the reason for the loss because you know, he could only work with one hand. But he said he's, uh, he's come back, he's ready, he's ready to get a, a good victory tonight. No, it's good. I like from Watson. You know, he's throwing the jab out. You know, he's not rushing into anything. He's, he's really looking for his shots. And for Watts, first time he said fighting here in his hometown as a professional as they exchange left hooks. Yeah, but, but Borrego's doing the same, actually. You know, he's a, he's a dangerous fighter. He has 11 knockouts with 12 fights. So, you know, he has power in both hands. So, uh, good for him to try to end the night early. Stop. Separate. Props. Minute left here in round one. You know, I would like to see Borrego, you know, actually, uh, you know, uh, commit more to the jab, you know, to create his offense a little bit more. Right now, he's just kind of waiting for the counter, but I would like to see him throw the jab a little bit more. 
Borrego last fought in April. And he stopped John Delperdang in the seventh round. That was on the undercard of the Andre Berto Sean Porter fight. Stop, stop, stop. See. All right, you look, you look. And even in that fight, Borrego said, you know what, I needed more movement. Hey, and the thing about Borrego, he's, he changes, he changes, he already changed the southpaw like twice already, so he looks, he has a lot of abilities and not a, a lot of ways and landing a lot of punches for himself, so that's what one thing I like about him too, see, he already switched his southpaw again. Yeah, he does switch, he's a natural lefty, but fights as an orthodox fighter. That was a good shot, though. A couple of body shots there by Watts. Final seconds of round one. You know, I like what I saw in that first round. You know, both fighters are fighting, you know, smart. You know, they're actually both throwing jabs. You know, this it's, it's going to be a, a, a puzzle for both of them because none of them are open to go. Here comes Watts here in round two. Trying to establish that jab. Short uppercut by Watts. Come on, baby. Play time. Play time. You see Borrego giving the three feints as he tries to get on the inside. Yeah, because he knows that, that Watts is going to throw the uppercut when he comes in, so he kind of wants to, you know, time it, you know, make sure uh, probably going to throw something after the uppercut. But he's looking for a new one. But Watts himself is doing good, too. He's setting the traps, you know, he's putting the jabs in. He's waiting for the uppercut to come in. He actually just caught him with the right hook. Watts has got about 100 people here from relatives, the family, and friends. Get him out. Work out of there. Get your arms. Go. He told us his main priority tonight is to box. And use, get the angle. Borrego. He tries to pound him against the ropes. Oh, both of them. Let the lever fly here in round two. You saw Borrego said, bring it. Yeah, now they're, they're just trying to fight him. They're trying to go heads up, so he's a big man. I think Borrego should look for that uppercut and wait for Watts to come in, step back, and get him with that, with that left uppercut. Here's the left hand by Borrego. Stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't grab his head like that. You okay? I hear you. Don't do that, okay? A minute left here in round two. A couple of body shots by Watts. Stop my boy. Let him go. Let him go. Don't hit him behind that body. Drop the corn. Come on, baby. You don't know what to do. Two, three. Let him go. Let him go. Swat it low. Swat it low. Swat it low, Jose. Swat it low. Borrego told us was, especially in this fight, because I got to definitely cut the distance. Because he uses his range and distance very well. You're talking about watch. Watch the power, but I got to work his body. What Borrego said he wanted to do in this fight. Yeah, he should cut the distance, actually, you know, to, uh, pick the body apart, you know, and that, of course, will wear him down, you know, as the fight progresses. But uh, Watts is doing really good, actually. Well, I would like to see Borrego, you know, um, use more of an aggressive jab and then fight from the inside. There's an overhand right there by Watts, uppercut. The counter by Borrego. See right there when he's inside, I think he should, you know, pick to the body a little bit more. Because he's, he's expecting a headshot, so go to the body. For more on this fight, let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Jordan Hardy. Brian, thank you. As you see there, you see uh, Borrego in his corner. So you guys mentioned he's naturally left-handed, and when he came to the boxing gym, he never told his trainers that he's naturally lefty. So they taught him that orthodox stance, and finally one day they saw him riding with his left and realized, oh wow, this guy could be a southpaw too. So he said, we'll see him switch like we've been seeing him do tonight. But I've noticed he's switching when he wants to use that left uppercut. He's switching that southpaw stance. But honestly, when he's in that orthodox stance, I would expect him to use his jab more. See, you can see Borrego now, when he was fighting, South Ball just switched back to Orthodox. Well, obviously, I think Borrego is switching a little bit too much now. You know, I, I think he's kind of confusing himself, you know, switching from left deep to South Ball, uh, so from South Ball to Orthodox a little bit too much. As soon as he gets in, he turns back to you know, uh, Orthodox. 
I think you should work behind the jab a little bit more. You know, actually, uh, the stomach, the middle of the stomach is really open, so I think it should come like, uh, straight back. Hey, how about that combination of body shots there by Watts? Yeah, Watts is doing good. He's keeping the distance. You know, I think he's controlling the pace, actually. You know, he's just waiting for Borrego to come in. Every time he comes in, he comes. A couple of haymakers there missed both of them. There's the right hand that connects. We have come to the halfway point of round three. This one is scheduled for eight. They both tattoo the body of one another. Big left to the body by Watts. Borrego told us the one thing he watched in that Ramirez fight was the body work. He felt like that's what's going to win him, but he said that left hook to the body. See, that's what Borrego needs to do when he's in, inside. He needs to be a little bit more aggressive like I just was. He landed like about three punches right now, so that's that's his key to, for victory. Too. Under a minute here in round three. Here's a sneaky right hand by Watts. Borrego lets his hands go. See, when he has Watts up against the, up, up, up against the ropes like that, he should uh, take advantage of that, push him back to the ropes and back to the body. Here's the last 30 seconds of round three. These guys fighting the phone book. Uppercut, body shots by Borrego. Couple of body shots by Watts here. Round three. Okay, the first couple of rounds. To Watts, you gave that last round to Borrego. Yeah, you know, I feel like, you know, uh, Watts is keeping his distance. You know, he's countering Borrego as, as soon as he comes in. And, you know, uh, Borrego hasn't really found his groove yet. But I think, you know, as the fight progresses, I give the last round to him. And, you know, I think he's, you know, he's, he's really found his spot now. He's, he's probably he's looking to crush a little bit more. But I, I think he's picking up his pace. There's a check left hook, right hand by Watts. Then the left to the body. Watts would just one loss. That looping right hand that's connected again by Watts. I see Watts a little bit more comfortable. He's in the middle of the ring. You know, it's it's, has, it's he's fighting at his pace. You know, he's kind of forcing Borrego in an uncomfortable spot. Borrego unbeaten. He pushes Watts back. Wrestling and tussling here. Now watch, uh, he moves in with his head. You know, he, le he really leans a lot, but uh, he's kind of working on it. Stop it, I'm here. You can't just grab his head. If you don't like it, get him off here. Box. Jack Reese, you heard him. There's a short up uppercut by Borrego as Watts goes to the body. Oh, oh big shot there! See, he needs to put in the pressure a little bit. He already hurt him with that shot. Yes, he did. That one backs up Watts. Watts is still hurt, so he has, to, he has to jump on him now. Let's take this opportunity. Short uppercut again by Borrego. Stop, stop, my break, my break. Minute. Left here in round four. Here's a left hook by Borrego. Blood now coming from the nose of Blood. That one rocked him, and he's down. Three, look at me. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk over there and come back to me. Come back to me. You want to continue? Can you grow five? Borrego on a 10 fight knockout streak trying to make it 11. He's got Watts in the corner in trouble, and that's it. Jose Miguel Borrego.
Kevin Watts. Yeah, like I said before, you know, uh, you, you took him a while to, to get into this group, but no, no, no. I said, I said he was, he was, he was about to pick up the pace, and there he stopped the fight. Let's get the official time of the stoppage. Here's Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes two minutes, 42 seconds of the fourth round. Referee in charge, Jack Reese, waves off the contest for your winner by knockout and still undefeated, Jose Miguel Borrego. Real quick, give me your thoughts on what you see out of Borrego. Oh, Borrego, um, you know, he started off a bit slow. You know, the Kevin Watts was counterpunching, but Borrego stepped it up, put the pressure up, and ended the fight. 11 knockout streak now for Jose Miguel Borrego. We're just getting started. We got more coming up. It's the PBC on FS1.